Na sasa coach nikulize mm. ilikuwaje ukaingia ukakuwa Air Force na ilikuwaje ukatoka? Haiza tu pia ni, ni shughuli za maisha tu kuna sababu ile ilifanya nikatoka. Eh. Uweza ta Nianze. Oh, mambo vipi sasa inakuwaje? Karibu kwenye tikitaka show masikana babo tunakuletea story kali kutoka kwa na sport ambao unawakubali walikuwa kwenye game wakafanya poa unajua na pia wenye wako kwa game sai au vipi na leo nimechilia mtu mmoja mbaye na mwishimu sana ani nimemuona akicheza mini kimuona likuwa naituwa junior sayi asha kwa buda so sayi ya natuambia nani na joe wengi mimuona mnamjua Kina taji introduce. Vipi coach? Safi. Kupoa? Kupoa. Nambu wangalei kamera uji introduce. Mm. Usawa joe ni nani? Afu yeah. pige story. Eh, hey, kwa majina jina ya kwanza ni yoyo junior. Mm. Yoyo ndiyo ya muta. Mm. Lakini zo jina zingine ni Elvis Ayani Valdo. Yeah. Eh, hey, Elvis Ayani Valdo. Ama mtu na jitaga Valderama. Yoyo yeah. yeah. sasamu nyewe. Eh. Yeah. Coach, ulu kwa nchisa position gani? Ulu kwa midfielder. Midfielder, mm. box to box. Box to box, midfielder. Uh -huh. mm. Na, box to box. mi kwanza niki kuona, niki tambo, niki wa mlesu, kicheze ya Santos. Mm. Ulu kwa same team na kina Dennis Oliechu kwa captain wawo, mm. na kumbuka. Mm. Mm. After, hapo katoko kwa kuja top flight. Kidogo tuwa nini brief, jani yako imekuwaje ya ball ukiwa player? Uh, kwa player jani yangu ya boli jakuwa tui raisi hivu mm -hmm. e, Mekuwa ni jani moja tough sana mm -hmm. e, Kwanza na shukuru wale wale ni menta kwa Daguriti Santos okay. Kuna wale wale take care ya nini yetu tukio Daguriti Santos uh -huh. Waka kwa natushugulikia about finances na mambo ya kulipa league na hizo vitu na, passport, na transport uh -huh. So at a very early age nikiwa class 8 Ngeza kuregister kama player mm -hmm. Katika second division yeah. ya Kenya Ilikuwa ni Division 2 okay. That was way back to 1992 uh -huh. So in 1992 ndio nilikuwa introduced kwa, kwa league okay. So started playing league yu na Nairobi league uh -huh. uh, Under coach uh, Ilikuwa na Henry Mbugwa na Mita Ferguson uh -huh. Then kuna Patrick Mavala na ituwa Chuma uh -huh. Then our team manager was Jeremy Nyaga Oh. Eh, major okay. and the late Jack Zisoni. So, on the body, all out of the fanya in the to a ball, it can come up with Zurisana having that one its idea from a tender early age. Uh -huh. eh, so, mostly it will go to the other to learn the play to learn the play not in the Kibira up only. Okay, and the other Jina famous in it to a junior up on a skill, a Jina junior up. Okay, so up on the junior Lianza Kotokilezea. So, when I'm playing. Kwa, and at the 14 and the 17 category up when he was captain, uh -huh. yeah, then all my coach will come to inspire sana. Uh -huh. I believe kuwa football is about size, uh -huh. ni ability yako. Sure. So most of the time, what we kibiri will want to let you know, kubwa sana. At the 14, <laughs> want to let you know, over age. Lakini uh -huh. coach anasema anasema ana still, uh -huh. anasema play because ni ball na fanya nini uh -huh. na make movement. So to appreciate sana how my coach will fanya. Tukaweza kukama up, baka tukafika katika hiyo level mm -hmm. Having that hiyo time walikuwa na jitolea uh -huh. Na wakuwa na hile knowledge mob okay. Lakini now, as venye tumekuja, tukakuwa ma coaches Now tunaweza ku understand okay. Passion yao, jama wali kuhuku chini mm -hmm. Hile kitu wali kuwa nafanya mm -hmm. Waka tuweze isha kufika, mali tulifika sure. mm. Coach, timi yako kwanza premier mm. Tukwa timu gani na ulifila jani Kuchuza premier Timi yangu ya kwanza ya premier ni KCB uh -huh. Having that still ingia KCB uh -huh. Ikiwa nationwide uh -huh. Na nilisaini wa kama kijana mdogo okay. Out of about you trials By that time trials ilikuwa nafanya wa Fukail kitu kama 6 months uh -huh. Out of watu karibu 300 uh -huh. Yeah, nili imaji kuwa mindo nilibaki alone kwa hiyo What is it? <laughs> Luka baki peke yako? Nika baki peke yangu mm -hmm. So hiyo time KCB likuwa inacheza nationwide mm -hmm. Nikapata hiyo chance ya kucheza mm -hmm. Then fortunately, tukapandisha KCB Ika ingia Premier, Premier League Okay yeah. So mm -hmm. KCB lipo ingia Premier League That's when tutulianza Game yetu ya kwanza ilikuwa against Kisumu All Stars 
Telecom ah. which ilikuwa inaitwa Telecom. Oh yeah. Yeah, hiyo game ilikuwa hey, hey. Kisumu Stadium. Uh-huh. Moi, Moi Stadium. Uh-huh. Yeah, so na una, unaangalia sasa situation ya Moi Stadium. Uh-huh. Na mko mzee kucheza huko hivi chini na ndio first game ya Premier League. Na ulikuwa kwa kikosi hiyo game? Ah, tulikuwa kwa kikosi ndani. Uh-huh. Tukapiga game hapo tulikuwa tunakuwa inspired na Eric Komondi Tojo uh-huh. kama brother ya Musa uh-huh. alitu inspire sana na mtu alikuwa anaitwa Ezekiel Shikanda uh-huh. walikuwa wametupatia morale sana akisema Premier League tunaweza play having that tulikuwa wa vijana wadogo wadogo okay so yeye ndiye first experience na ilikuwa tough sana because after the end of the match uh-huh. game ilisha nil nil uh-huh. lakini tuli end up kulala kwa hiyo kiwanja ya Kisumu reason reason being ni ile pressure tulikuwa tumepata mm-hmm. because pressure ilikuwa ni from inside and from outside okay. weather condition pia ilikuwa tough kwetu uh-huh. kind of speed of ya game ilikuwa noma sana mm-hmm. sasa after game dot tulita na mkatano tukasema eh hey, after kila time kwa tizi tuko tunapiga lap kama sita hivi tuweze ku sustain <laughs> ini ya premier league the intensity ilikuwa juu sana intensity ilikuwa juu sana na by that time hiyo wale tokwa cheza premier league out na korea kina Walter. Uh-huh. Kwa sababu wakubwa wakubwa. Mhm. Uh-huh. Haiko uh, watu watu wana body size ndogo kwa sababu wazoefu kabisa. Uh-huh. So hiyo ndio ilikuwa first experience ya Premier League. Uh-huh. So tuka play Premier League for a very long time. Uh-huh. Uh, till about 2002. Aha. Uh-huh. 2002 nika join Tasca. Okay. Mm, 2002 nika join Tasca. Tasca ilikuwa tuli tuona under coach Ghost Mulei. Eh uh, Mulei. Yeah. Yeah, Tukapiga Tasca uh-huh. hiyo time. Aha. Uh-huh. Mm, Tasca ilikuwa poa mpya ilikuwa competitive sana because uh-huh. now ilikuwa kwa hiyo jezi ya Tasca. Uh-huh. Ilikuwa ni kazi. Ilikuwa uh-huh. the yellow jersey. Mlikuwa na Bonfa Sambani? Eh yeah, tulikuwa na Bonfa Sambani. Aha. Uh-huh. So hiyo Tasca nayo ilikuwa ni ilikuwa ni Tasca yenyewe kinu ukiangalia katika midfield hiyo time kisainiwa tuko na Ukwemba tuko na Mariga tuko na Edward Karanza tuko na eh, Abu Bakar Yusuf tuko na tulikuwa na watu wengi hapo ilikuwa ni kikosi ilikuwa ni lazima uweze kufight hiyo nini yako alafu pia Ghost alikuwa may believe na ability yako ndio ilikupatia chance yako kucheza ball okay okay so even hiyo time kuna m- fast 18 ya task ilikuwa ilikuwa ni ngori sana mm-hmm. because that time task na ilikuwa between kishafika saa half time leading 4-0 because huko mbele kuna obare uh-huh. kuna na uh, the likes of madegwa uh-huh. tulikuwa pia na kina abu nurain uh-huh. nurain alikuwa anacheza nyuma uh-huh. tulikuwa na gabriel lolang uh-huh. tulikuwa na kwa kipa tulikuwa na victor nyango Oh Vicky Vicky Nyango mmoja. Eh yeah, Solomon Lubembe. Ah yeah. ilikuwa team imejipanga. Hapo nyuma tulikuwa tunapigwa na kuna time pia kina Pache wa Kajoin. Mhm. Kwa sasa kuna Wickliffe Jumba. Aha. The late fundi. Aha. So ilikuwa ni ilikuwa ni club inajijua ukipewa chance ya kuplay uh-huh. ilikuwa inabidi unajitolea. Mm-hmm. So eh hapo ndio bado Gustav ingiza professionalism hapo kwa hiyo nini? Aha. Uh-huh. Tukaanza sasa ku get kuno the importance of ball more because <coughs> kila time ilikuwa ni task isipokuwa number one inakuwa ni crime aha uh-huh. ilikuwa task ilikuwa lazima iwe in the champion league, champions league okay mm, so hiyo pressure ilikuwa ni either you make it ama uishie ama uishie so uh-huh. ilikuwa ni, ni, ni challenge poa sana uh-huh. then after task ndio nikachoroa ulinzi na ukaingia ulinzi nikaingia ulinzi uh-huh. so nitoka task when Henry Motego ndo alikuwa coach mhm hiyo time tukiona kina Mariga Mm-hmm. akina Armando mm-hmm. and to Patrick Osiako uh-huh. so one of the best <laughs> midfielders wale unaweza ona uh-huh. so hiyo ndio ilikuwa pick kosi yetu so nilitoka hapo nikaingia ulinzi mm-hmm. uh, ulinzi sasa ndio tukapiga hiyo time sasa tulichukuliwa about eight players uh-huh. from different teams na mtu alikuwa anaitwa Major Monzia okay so akatu akatuchoresha kwa ulinzi uh-huh. Kenda tukapiga training yetu after hapo tuka tukaingia timu ya ulinzi. So oh, ukenda umesha ume uliingia army kabisa. Eh yeah, ni kwa mtu wa Air Force. Uh-huh. So ndio after hapo ndio tukatoka. Uh-huh. Tukakaa sasa ndio ulinzi ikakuwa ulinzi. Sasa coach ni kulize mm. ilikuwaaje ukaingia ukakuwa Air Force na ilikuwaaje ukatoka? Ah hizo pia ni, ni shughuli za maisha tu kuna sababu ile ilifanya nikatoka. Aha. Uh-huh. Eh hizo taka kushia ni sababu gani ilifanya ukatoka kwa sababu na feel nilikuwa naona 
ukiwa kama uko ulinzi mm. kifano likuchora ball na bado akakuchora job mm. umeona unza share nini li happen baka ukatoka ulinzi ah ilikuwa vitu mingi zili happen hapo uh-huh. eh, zingine zilikuwa fault si si fault ya ya tia watu wa ulinzi uh-huh. ni, ni part ya maisha so shit happen is life saingine okay so hiyo sasa siwezi explain father okay so ikapata tukacheza hiyo nini ya ulinzi uh-huh kwa kwa win league three times mm-hmm. represent ulinzi in the eastern african club championship mara kama tatu okay so every time tulikuwa by that time ilikuwa ulinzi tukienda east africa ilikuwa tu ilikuwa ulinzi ya kikweli mm-hmm. having that pia hapo mmoja mwanzi alikuwa na direct connection na watu wa simba na yanga mm-hmm. so kila time tulikuwa tunaenda pre season kucheza na simba na yanga okay So hizo game mostly tuko tunafunga Simba. Mm. Tuna draw na Yanga. Kuna time to ni to spend karibu wiki mbili tukiwa TZ because sasa tulifunga Simba wakasema wata to host tena tukacheza tena na Yanga. Okay. I mean that your team now ilikuwa imejibeba kina mm-hmm. kina like si Hillary Echesa. Uh-huh. Akiwa 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 Ulinzi. Uh-huh. Kwa Sami Simiu. Mko nao. Lawrence Wino. Uh-huh. Anthony Derito. Ilikuwa ni kikosi kikosi na nusu. Aya <laughs> yeah, yeah. so ilikuwa kikosi ilikuwa wasemlo la hapo ilikuwa na kina Kokoyo. Uh, oh Geoffrey. Geoffrey Kokoyo. Uh-huh. Ilikuwa ni timu moja ilikuwa mm. poa sana ilikuwa na nini kaliba zote kina Mike Baraza. Aha. Uh-huh. Ndio tunapiga huko huko mbele. So ilikuwa oh. ni timu moja ilikuwa ni kama ilikuwa tu kama tu hata national team. Uh-huh. Because hata mosti. Nyiso walikuwa share time bado walikuwa mchumani. Walikuwa ndio walikuwa mchumani. So tulikuwa ni timu iko complete. Oh nice. Mm. nice. So after hapo ndio nikarudi back home where it all started where it all started 2015 uh-huh. mm-hmm. nikarudi tena nikaipiga unfortunately case bigger got renegated oh hiyo time nilirudi tena eh software renegation uh-huh. kacheza the lower leagues uh-huh. nationwide tena ya kwanza ikakuwa ngumu uh-huh. ya pili uh-huh. eh, richard shade welcome eh uh-huh. shade eh uh-huh. accountability lane ilikuwa nayo uh-huh i can introduce into coaching having that in the captain okay captain oh, ndio eh uh, i'll introduce to coaching shedu ndo ali introduce to coaching akanambia time pay imefika mhm ni ninafaa ku join in kwa technical hapo because pia alikuwa ameshao na ability yangu having nimekuwa captain na nimekuwa leader but coaching sieti nilianza hiyo time mhm coaching kila kitu nilikuwa na lano nilikuwa nacheza top flight for that time mm-hmm. nilikuwa na comeback hapa kwa community yangu kwa mm-hmm. santos mm-hmm. na try ku kuwa show wale mavijana wana come up uh-huh. eh hey, ni ni tactics nini unajua by that time wako najua tactics ama vitu uh-huh. vingine so hiyo tactics niko nafundishwa kwa hiyo level ya juu nilikuwa mm-hmm. na comeback hapo Mm-hmm. na onyesha vijana there is a way of giving back na sure uh, then time pia tulikuwa na coach Yusuf Chipo whenever alikuwa anapiga tactics zake mm-hmm. alikuwa anachukua pepa zake na kuja oh. na rifaa nazo hii side nyingine okay. so nakaa mnafanya practical napiga ma practical huko mta uh-huh. mm, so hiyo ndio ilikuwa nini so coaching ni kanzi hapo uh-huh. uh, then schedule alipokuwa sick uh-huh akakuwa uh, hizi endelea na nini akapewa leave uh-huh. so shidua kaniambia valdo nimekuachia timu uh-huh. timu iko in your hands na timu ilikuwa premier league okay so from there ndo unapata nini kuwa na hiyo confidence unaniona naga nayo <laughs> eh, sije kuwa atini yeah. kalegea na nini yeah. so having been the mini small siku atina hizo ma mefanya hizo ma, ma, ma licenses ulikuwa bado una license hiyo time hizo time siko na ma license uh-huh. lakini sasa KCB wakaanza ku introduce kwa hizo ma coaching zilikuwa zinakuja zilikuwa zinafanywa na KNVB uh-huh. so nikafanya kwanza nilianza na Yamaisa uh-huh. ka train anza hiyo ni intermediate uh-huh. coaching then kaingia hizo za KNVB KNVB nao nikafanya zote mpaka advanced okay uh, and uh, instructor kina Kimanzi okay na alikuwa pia hiyo time alikuwa analeta madach instructors wana kama wanatufundisha okay so na mostly nini zote nime get mob sana imekuwa kutoka kwa hiyo system ya KNVB pia tunashukuru hiyo system ya KNVB uh-huh. because sasa ilikuwa inatuonyesha the way of play ball uh-huh. in a modern way okay so having that nimefanya advanced hizo courses za KNVB kadhaa mhm uh-huh. uh, zimenihelp sana kwa career yangu mhm uh-huh. 
Then after hapo ndio nikakuja nikaanza kufanya hizi license za federation. Coach nikurudisha nyuma kidogo. Mm. KNVB mm. e, ilikuwa kuna makocha ambao walikuwa wanaipenda sana na msikepeo umesema ilikuwa poa. Mm. Lakini kuna watu wanasema saa hii imepitwa na wakati. Unasemaje system of play hiyo yenye mko mnafanya sasa hii sabit different sijui ni ukweli ama what can you say about that ina depend na wewe mwenyewe wewe una implement mm -hmm. haijapitwa na wakati mm -hmm. kiangalia pia the dutch sasa hizi bado mm -hmm. ni unaona style yao ya play wenye wanacheza eh yeah. yeah? uh -huh. so ni systematic and it's very much systematic eh yeah, na see at is it the same style yenye mko mtu kwa almost the same style ni okay. almost the same style uh -huh. so instead zingine zime come just ni terminologies zina change okay but ilikuwa more into details okay unaona no, ilikuwa ni more into details what do you get uh -huh. Nini may happen so uh -huh. ilikuwa napatia na solution so hiyo coaching ya game ilikuwa ilisaidia watu wengi sana okay because it to enlighten more ukaanza kwenda kwanza stand ball wenye iko uh -huh. sio ku play just for results uh -huh. una play you play also play an entertaining football kind of football uh -huh. football ile inaweza accommodate kila mtu uh -huh. then na na we na relate way back na zile nini tuko tunaambia na local coaches wetu uh -huh. the ones tulikuwa na coach mgoja mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Obango uh -huh. wa Santos alikuwa anasema acheza kama kebe uh -huh. Yeah. So hiyo mkebe ni triangles. Okay. So unajua sisi hatuko tumeelewa gacheza mkebe ni nini. So hata tukikuja pale weka mkebe, weka mkebe. Eh. Uh -huh. Sasa by the time kuja kuwa la kukujua ni alikuwa anasema kwa kila time unacheza ball mwe triangles ni peane options. Ah. Uh -huh. Tukakuja kujua ah sasa unaona hii sasa unaanza kupata into details. Uh -huh. Sasa hapo kwa Ken we binu zaidi anaanza kupata into details ya ball venye iko, uh -huh. coaching venye inafaa uh -huh. na positioning na hizo vitu zingine. By that time uh -huh watu wa maisha walikuwa juu yetu uh, because sisi tu ile kitu ilipeleka pale uh, si ati tulikuwa tunajua tactics uh -huh. ilikuwa ni individual wewe ile ukocha yes. anamwambia wewe ingia tu ngangane huko kache lakini ulikuwa unapata wale atatenda age walikuwa shafundishwa tactics uh, basics uh, na tactics za ball na roles za kila position okay uh, so ilikuwa fit sana mm -hmm. then pia tunashukuru federation wenye welcome up na e licensing ikakuwa ikakuwa in order uh -huh. so ikakuwa lazima ufote the formations hizo ma classes okay. so hiyo kwa part hiyo na thank sana KCB uh -huh. because 90% ya zile ma Mm. Ma certificates niko nazo uh -huh. niko sponsored by nini ya KCB. Okay. Mm. Okay. Na hapo ndo kuja. Mm. Uka, ukaingia coaching kabisa. Sasa hapo ndo nikakuja nikakuwa ingia coaching after kuwa assistant wa mm. wa Shedu. Mm -hmm. Akaniwachia kama coach then the other time waka employ coach. Mhm. Mm nikawa kanda Kamau no oh, kama wakitoka alikuwa ndio anatoka thika ama alipoa toka thika kuja tuko na Kamau mhm mm tuko na Leonard Sale sana 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 mhm uh -huh. so after kwa kipia na Leonard Sale tukakuja kidogo tukawa na Frank na kina Kwana aha uh -huh. then uh, nikatoka KCB uh -huh. nikakuja having that sasa nime grow sasa watu wameona nimeka KCB sana aha uh -huh kafika kuna time pia lazima pia mimi nianzishe my own project. Yeah, sure. Eh, so ndio nika come back kwa nini ya Santos, ka play kidogo. Uh -huh. Then nikaanza nikachukua na Kibira Black Stars. Oh, so Santos ndio tu ile home tu ile kucheza kujibamba kiasi before hangut kabisa ama Ah, Santos pia ni back come back na mambo ya coaching bado. Oh, ukaona wa coach. Eh, because sasa mm -hmm. ukisha learn vitu kutoka mali different na kama unafundisha mm -hmm. ama vijana wengine. Yeah. So having that mimi ni sikuwa na nini kwa side ya Dago either ungwa romu si wapi mm -hmm. kuna zaingia mahali popote na ni coach tu na coach ume grow wapi wewe si wa Dago mimi ni wa Dago okay lakini oh. nisoma Dago to Muslim Primary School okay, okay. Yeah, so mparo wangu alitoka wako ametoka Musi okay so niki nini mimi wenda mahali popote so kama ni uanze ungwa romu nikienda nipate mtu anafanya coaching uh -huh. Sitakaa nje ni sema anafanya kitu wrong uh, lakini ni try ni muonyeshe the best way ya kufanya kitu different kwa wao vijana wetu unlike when you see tulifanywa coach kuna wakati huko Santos ulikuwa Yoji na Junior ni kuona ulikuwa uko na Santos mm. Santos sio back then ilikuwa na kama ni team ya family mm. ni kweli ama ama, ama kwa sababu ulikuwa unapata Santos iko na Oliech 
iko na Kevin iko na Apache so wasio wengi walikuwa na wana Bifa Santos kama team ya family ha, hiyo kitu kishawa hii kuingia kwa kichu ama ilikuwa tu story za base nini ah hizo ni story mm -hmm. Santos ilikuwa na mafounder mm -hmm. na ilikuwa na tukisema ilikuwa na, na steps zilikuwa zinafuatwa okay so the likes of kina Deno wamekuja way back later so Santos ili start pia na their blade big brother alikuwa ni to Steven Okumu aha uh -huh. upia alikuwa anacheza Santos huyo alikuwa Santos okay okay na mwingine alikuwa ni to John Dambuki aha uh -huh. the late Jen, John Dambuki okay wale kwa anacheza Real alikuwa anacheza AFC uh -huh. you know the likes of wale walikuwa ga hiyo Santos okay okay so Santos ilikuwa ilianza na watu wengi kitambo sana mhm mm so ile kitu ilikuwa nilikuwa ni we play kwa nini ya Santos na kupatia nini ya kucheza mm -hmm. tukienda kucheza tournaments ndio unaonekana wende fanya nini wende team nyingine so okay. mshara ile tulikuwa tunapewa tunaambiwa wewe tunakupea game wewe uh -huh. jishowcase huko ndio upate kwenda kwa oh, team oh, ya Premier League <laughs> unlike size hizi mm -hmm. umekuwa little bit different kwa mm -hmm. kwa hii generation mm -hmm. si tuliwa card sana kwa hiyo field of play ndio tulikuwa venye tuko sasa hivi mm -hmm. coach unapata former players like you uh, when you wanna end up into depression and stuff like that na na mambo za finances league uki ukicheza ball ukiwa po top flight inakuwa aje financially are you appreciated well ama ball yetu iko vipi ama ni pinas tu iko aje unaweza sema nini kuhusu ball yetu na in terms of finances uh, in time of finances ball pia inategemea pia na ile team huko mm -hmm. eh, na team ina mata sana uh -huh. because mtu kama mimi nao nimekuwa team kama KCB for a very long time mm -hmm. si KCB ati vizuri unamaanisha si vizuri si ati tuko vizuri eh KCB by that by that time ilikuwa ailipi poa mm -hmm. lakini out, out from effort ile tulipiga hapo kwa hiyo KCB mm -hmm. bit, vitu zilibidi zime change okay eh, so KCB katoka from just a team ya allowance mm -hmm. because tulikuwa tunapigania guy allowance okay okay kwa sema gani tulikuwa tunaitaga point 8 uh -huh. that's a quarter dollar <laughs> so ilikuwa inabidi tungangane tupate hiyo quarter dollar mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at that time unaona mm -hmm. so management ikakaa ka sit down wakaona mm -hmm. wanaweza give players a good package so ball pia ijakuwa ni mbaya sana mm -hmm. having that pia to play as it is possible to like to come in okay eh ilikuwa na exposure poa mm -hmm. but ile kitu nilikuwa naambia ga ma player mm -hmm. eh ni, ni mindset tu yako venye umepanga nini yako kwa maisha okay. venye umejipanga na discipline yako okay eh ball ya Kenya si ati iko mbaya vile uh -huh. Kenya kama watu wanasainiwa wao jana sasa wanasainiwa na good man okay na ukiangalia pia allowance hata to the lowest division mm -hmm. if unaweza get kama kitu kama 4000 5000 mhm mm ama 3000 Mm, na ndio vijana lazima ukue umejipanga because now football ni short time career. Uh -huh. Kwa hiyo time unacheza ball how do you relate na watu wengine wa outside? Okay. So problem kubwa sana ile inatuletea ga depression uh -huh. ni kuwa nikiwa mchezaji najua favors zote ni mimi. Kila kitu ni mimi venye. Uh -huh. Si ndio? Uh -huh. So unapata part nyingine ya life ni tandareta watu wengine kimaisha because mimi si ninajua ball mimi najua ball uh, watu wengine wanajua nini na mimi najua ball peke yake <laughs> so unapata side nyingine kuna mtu anajua ball na anajua vitu zingine mm -hmm. so akitoka kwa ball life yake bado inaweza continue mm -hmm. lakini sasa unaona wale tuta relate bado kwa ball peke yake life inakuwa a little bit difficult because sasa unaona lifestyle ya player ni kubembelezwa kila kitu unakuwa favored ukikuja hapa inside outside nani anataka kufavor <laughs> yeah but uh, ni one of the lessons in the land from the mmoja alikuwa former Tasca player alikuwa anaitwa Fula mm -hmm. the moment tulisainiwa pale Tasca mm -hmm. alituambia vijana mnaona kama mimi nakaa kama ndo wazimu because pia time hiyo alikuwa ameshikwa na kitu kama depression depression uh -huh. Fula striker Fula striker uh -huh. so si tukio tumesign Tasca hapo mm -hmm. tuko tunajua za tuko heaven Oh yeye pia alikuwa hapo Tasca. Yeye alikuwa hapo, yeye alikuwa former Tasca. Yeye amekaa hapo Tasca kwa muda mrefu. Okay. Lakini by that time Ghost akiwa ana coach hapo. Mhm. Mm 
alikuwa na kamu na umuona uwe budana enda na chukua bola na fanya nini because kuna time vitu zilifanyika pia kwa wake zikuwa poa okay. vile uh-huh. so, so, na... so, uh, so budana wali tuliza gayo kwezi yonanga nambia vijana hmm. saa imi nikienda intercontinental na mbitu muenda wazimu uh-huh. lakini by that time nikiwa player intercontinental nilikuwa na rumi yangu lakini saa isi wezi ingia intercontinental unajua nikuwa nini uh-huh. maisha wenye iku so tumia wakati wako saa zile unaza fanya nini unaza play ball so yonio one of the things we make when we get to a mind it kid you are this life of the football uh-huh. yeah, it's life see football peke yake mm-hmm. because everybody gonna make mistakes ndio mm-hmm. for life lazima kila mtu kuwa na ups and down mm-hmm. lakini sasa kama player mm-hmm. kuwa na ups and down kama umejipanga na umekuwa kilete na watu vizuri mm-hmm. full back plan yako na kwa poa kwale 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 so hiyo ni kitu moja mapleana fa kuwa nayo yeah. 